Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us for this third party figure showcase and review. We're going to be looking at the Steelhead Commander. This, I'm pretty sure as you can tell, is a, it's like a chibi style version of your Rise of the Beasts Optimus Prime. We're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We'll have a look at all the accessories and how you can use them. And of course, we'll do some comparisons with him, the original Rise of the Beast Studio Series Optimus Prime, and a few other figures as well. So as I start to move all these out of the way, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out and also to thank show z because that's where this came from and as you can see they got him to me nice quickly and safely now i've got to confess this is one of the ones that i've had my eye on for ages but because they've had a sale recently i did bite the bullet and go and get him so there is steelhead commander's box nice um again it's whatever the Whatever the cardboard is, it's got like a lovely sheen to it. It feels really soft and indeed it does look very, very good. There is the logo there, which of course you'll probably remember. Uh, I think it was Steel Cat or something like that is the name of the uh, manufacturer. But again, I'll have a full link in the description for you to get one yourself. He does come packaged in his truck mode. I've got him into alternate, into robot mode rather, just to make the video a bit quicker. And you can see he's got an abundance of accessories. Now this is, as I say, Chibi, which is, a, I suppose it's sort of like a Japanese um, word for super deformed, which of course we don't use anymore. Um, but I just, I don't know what it is about this particular figure. I just think it looks really 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 good for what it is for the size it is i'm going to show you all the articulation in a second the transformation process you would think would be relatively simple but it's and again with these instructions it just actually isn't there is i'm trying to see how many steps there are there are loads of steps you can see that there then this also doubles up as a lovely poster as well so it's quite good for that um unfortunately i, I cannot show you the battery operated thing because none of the batteries i've got are small enough but i will show you where they go so in the mouthpiece you can see in there it is a tiny tiny little battery that would fit in there um, and also it would fit there would be another one that would fit inside this as well uh, you can if you want to as well you can change his mouth plate so you can have it open so how he was talking in the movie or you can have it closed which i'm pretty sure well that's the one that i prefer anyway just pop that over there so this is the grill um, i can't find a way to attach this anywhere when he's in robot mode I could be completely wrong, but I, in honesty, and I've checked again the instructions, but there's nothing on there, uh, so I can't find anywhere to put that. The figure itself, though, is great. Let me just move this out of the way. Even though, as I say, it is sort of quite small, the detail on it is incredible. The head sculpt is brilliant. Look at the detail there inside of the eyes. Uh, you can move these to the side you can move these all around as well it will turn all the way around even though it's huge and it will look up and down uh, the shoulders themselves will go all the way out to the side they will spin all the way around and again the detail on these is brilliant look at the as i say the hinges now everything sort of work bicep swivel and flexion articulation in four fingers index finger and a thumb the chest piece will open up and let me see if I can bring this out. Everything's just so super stiff. Uh, let me see if I can find something. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, you can have a waist swivel all the way around, no problem whatsoever. The legs will kick. These don't haven't got a huge range of motion because of these, uh, but you can move the hip skirts. There you go. But with the great big knee guard, it still doesn't go up that far. It goes much, much further back. There's a thigh cut, there's a knee bend, ankle tilt and rock. And as you can see, just really, really, really detailed all around the midsection. Looks really, really good. I'm so impressed with it, uh, especially the eyes. I'm hoping, as I say, you can see there with the eyes. Bear with me two seconds. Let me just see if I can find something to prise open his chest. In all honesty, it's a real good job that I didn't have a go at that uh, during the filming because there is no matrix in there. It doesn't fold out. It's just really detailed. I was looking at it thinking that that was perhaps a hinge there, but it's not. It's just molding detail. Yes, the chest does move out, but this is only for transformation purposes. So there is actually no matrix in there, which, you know, it isn't the be all and end all. Um, he still looks great without it. But you can also see as well that he's got an ab crunch as well, which again is great for this sort of sized figure. Um, these are metal. The feet are metal and die cast as well. And I think there's something as well inside the midsection, which again is die cast due to the weight and how it feels. So even though it's only, it, you know, it's about a deluxe size sort of figure. So it's, you know, he's not super small. 
let me have a look yeah he's bigger than a main line is he as big as he's about as big as studio series so yeah about as big as a deluxe size figure but obviously way way more chunky uh, a lot more weight to him especially with the die cast um, and i suppose with regards to other third party company figures much much bigger than what would be classed as legend scale so he's not legend scale at all he's way bigger than core and as I say, way bigger than what's known as some deluxe. So that gives you an idea of his size and his scale. Even though they're not supposed to scale together, this was just, as I say, to give you an idea of how big he was. Right, the cool thing, as I say, is what you can do with all of these accessories. So here we go. Let's have a look at his arm cannon first and foremost. You open that up there. You can see he's got them two holes on the back of his fist. So make sure his hands are open and his thumbs out of the way. This will then his hand will go inside, his thumb's typically in the way as soon as I've just said that. Fold it over and out. Let's bring this forward and let's see if I can do this. It should, he says should. There you go, slot on like so. And that's him with his arm cannon, which again is great. All you've got to do is just unclip that tab on that side and then that's there. So that would just fit nicely around his fist and again it looks really good same with all of these what i've classed these as pretty much industry standards what i mean by that is although it's not the same size you've got this one's even better this one's the blade so this will go on the outside of the hand which again brilliant that'll go there whereas the gun and the other huge axe uh what i mean by industry standard is you can see there there's always like a big hole on the inside of the palm and then what you would do you would just attach this like so and then you can make it look like he's gripping him which is exactly what that does in fact you can completely power him up because that's on the outside i can open up his palm with this side and then i can take this and i can pop this into his fist or into the back of his arm shall we say um to be honest i've not had a go at doing all this so this is all uh, new for me and i'm hoping that it yes it does it's held in place no problem so there is your super duper powered up rise of the beast optimus prime you can see everything's reflecting off it and i'm actually i'm, I'm obviously a bit, feel a bit sorry for you guys but i'm really pleased the fact that you can see it because it is it's a great figure it's again really really nice uh and because it's got different shades of gray and silver i'm glad that you can sort of see um exactly that let me bring in where is he again so that's the official studio series one so to be honest as i say this guy it's probably about the same weight. He's nowhere near as big. Um, he's obviously looks a bit more fun. He's obviously not supposed to be as serious as that one, but this one's got his flaws as well, let's be honest. Um, he's way, way smaller in height than the G1 original. And just because I've got him here, he's a lot smaller than the new Commander class, if anybody wanted just a quick comparison with that but as i say the bonus thing is that he does actually transform as well uh, so i'll do my best to get his transformation tutorial video uploaded for you but there's not much more to say about the robot mode i'm going to quickly show you the collector's card which is that and there you go yeah i think it was lucky cat steelhead alliance um, and that's all there is to say about his robot mode we're going to come right back he's going to be in his alternate and we can just see again how good that looks there he is in his alternate mode and again it is obviously oversized at the front but you can't argue with the fact that it does look really good now i've got to be honest transformation process is perhaps a little fiddly or maybe it's just um i found it quite difficult in all honesty and the most annoying thing is that there's nothing on the internet about transforming him back so i will do my absolute very best to get the tutorial up it just at the moment it's taken me too long so i need a bit more practice in honesty but as i say these nice uh die cast uh fuel tanks again you can see they're lovely and they're reflecting the light there all the wheels are on individual pins so they serve their purpose it goes backwards and forwards the translucent windows are of course where the front are for the matrix which obviously you can't open it just does that as i say it doesn't fold out anymore it looks like it might but it actually doesn't uh, the grill itself does come off this is what you need to take off because uh, as i say it comes packaged like this you do need to take this off before you want to start transforming him um as well anyway but as i say you know it's it, it looks like what it's supposed to look like these are quite sharp not too bad um but with the size and i suppose the style that it is it's obviously not 
uh, exactly to scale, which of course it's not supposed to be. Um, it still makes me laugh. I still think it's cute and I still really do like the look of it, even though it's just, it's drove me mad. It took me most of the afternoon to get him back into uh, this particular mode. So he's probably, you know, he's probably a good uh, sort of deluxe size, if you know what I mean. I think he definitely sort of comes into that sort of size bracket he's much much bigger than your standard oh the wheel on that's come back uh legend scale uh i suppose the party bots he's way way bigger than that uh, whether or not he's voyager class standard i don't think perhaps he's um he's classed as that big but as i say with regards to your legend scale he is much much bigger than them let's just have a quick last look at him i've got a g1 bumblebee here as well just to give you an idea of his scale and his size again i know none of these are supposed to scale together it was just to give you an idea uh, of his size uh to be fair no uh, it does tuck away pretty quite neatly um underneath you know there's nothing i mean maybe you can say the fingers are there so that's the part that's perhaps the, the most visible but everything else is sort of really well tucked away. I don't know if I can just open anything up to give you an idea. No, you can't. It's all tucked away uh, really neatly. Maybe these could have been a slightly different colour. I'm not too sure. Uh, but I suppose, you know, that's pretty much it. So he has surprised me. Uh, the articulation robot mode was brilliant. He looks great in alternate mode. I think the problem with this is, as I say, it's just pick a mode, get him put in it, and then see how you feel about it. Because um, he's obviously not going to display with your proper mainline figures because he's just not designed to. But as a fun figure, that's exactly that. It, it, you know, it hits all of the right notes. But there you go. Let me know what you think of him in the comments, guys. This is your Steelhead Commander. It is your... I don't know, is it an oversized head, Rise of the Beast, Optimus Prime? I think that's all you can call him, but there you go, there he is.